Ken and Pat, we just want to wish you the absolute best, and we're so thankful that we get to celebrate your 50th anniversary. What do you say? That's pretty amazing, isn't it? It's totally amazing. We're so proud of you and so happy for you. God has blessed you and we love you so much. And although we've only known you for a few short years, they've been wonderful years. You guys are such an inspiration and encouragement to us and we're just glad that we get a chance to do life with you guys. Yes, and we thank love you. you guys and uh, thank you for I'll introducing you for me to the amazing scotch that I just absolutely love. Love you both, and I just thank you so much. I love your jewelry, Pat. You are just both of you are just an inspiration. We just love you. We love Ken and Pat Martin yes, we so do. much. So grateful that we get to celebrate their 50th anniversary. Yes. Love you guys. More Pat than Ken. Yeah, pretty yes, much. Yeah. Yeah. More Pat. There you go. This is my son, my oldest son. Beautiful lady. Beautiful lady. That's right. So appreciate you guys and what you've done, what you represent, who you are, and your love for Jesus. And we just thank, thank you for inviting us tonight. Love you guys and uh, just say happy anniversary. Hope you guys have a great time together in whatever, what's it called? Like Machu Picchu or whatever, whatever that place is. Happy anniversary. Just to make it official, we were married in 1967. Yes, I know, that's a very long time ago. Wow. I know. And so it does seem more like yesterday. And uh, so, I, mean, I think a lot of you, frankly, were at our 35th wedding anniversary. Right? Who all was at the 35th? Okay. It's not a popular contest. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, as I look out here at everybody that's here and the people that we've invited, you are our family. These are the people we've done life with for a long time. And you know, you're the people that we've laughed with and cried with and prayed with, but mostly you're the people that we've traveled with. <laughs> You guys are special to us. We were at your 40th and now we're at your 50th. And we hope we're at the 60th too. Go ahead. And we'll be here in 10 years <laughs> with you guys. But thank you so much. Uh, in you and both of you, both Ken and Pat, you, you just, you're godly people. Smack of integrity, excellence, and in all that you do, and your kindness and your goodness is just a breath of fresh air in today's world. And so we love you. It's one of the greatest privileges of our lives to be united with you guys, and I look forward to many, many years uh, as we go forward together. So thanks, and Jill. And you're spunky, and you're fun, and you kick off my summer with your May pool parties, and you kick off Christmas with your Christmas parties, and your dancers, and your and your cute hairstyle. Mine's almost like yours now. Happy anniversary! 
love getting to know you these last few years and being um, in the Bible study that you um, had us come in and be part of your home. I agree. Happy 50th anniversary. And uh, I just want to let you know uh, that we just so much appreciate your honesty, your transparency, uh, absolutely love your humor, Ken. It is, it is uh, a riot. Make sure you put a book together on all your humor. So grateful to have you in our life. You're such great examples that we try and live up to. We've known you for so many years now and have enjoyed Bible studies with you and vacations with you. And even that time that we stalked you on the cruise, that you didn't know we were on the cruise last year, and we crept up behind you, and then we got to Surprised see each other you. on the cruise. Yeah, we had a great dinner together, and we just always look forward to our time together. And you have increased uh, our hearts and our souls by your generosity and by your love. We have always, always felt uh, in our hearts so grateful for who you are and thankful that we get to be a part of your lives. For me, it's a relief, and um, when I see a marriage that's based on Jesus Christ, it just makes all the difference. We have spent so many times, good times, bad times, we've had ups and downs, we've shared our families with each other, we've shared our lives with each other, and what a blessing that really is to have people you can trust and you can share from your heart. Um, so many memories in uh, the past 10 years, the cruises, uh, the South American cruise. Yeah, South we're going to Chile, um, yeah, I love drinking that good, good wine, um, just wonderful time together. Probably the most recent was the Tim McGraw and the Faith Hill. Um, we just love you, and we are so proud of you, and we want to thank you for your love and for your example of 50 years of being married. So, love ya, congratulations. Yeah, see, there, there and I am so yeah, jealous know. of all of you guys and all your long time, long time marriages. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that is so cool. And and uh, I, oh gosh, Pat and Ken, you know I love you both. I mean, to the earth and back, to the moon and back. Ken and Pat, I love you both so much. You have been such a special part of my life for so many years, more years than we care to admit. But one word for you for you both is steadfastness. This is something that I've always admired about both of you is the steadfastness that you both have. Thank you for believing in me and my company when uh, I didn't even know my company was going to exist. So uh, you've definitely been uh, mentors and friends to us for a long time. And you guys are great role models for all of us married couples and we can only hope in, uh, to be married as long as you guys have. 50 years. I know you're going to tell me. Just remember, no matter how old we get, you're always going to be older than me. Well, I know that. I am three months older. But uh, what a joy it has been to be your friends. Thanks for the example you've set with a great marriage, mm -hmm. a great friendship, great work ethic, and how you've loved your family and loved those that have been in your circle of friends. And we've felt loved all these years. We love you so much. We're so thankful for you in our lives, guys. And you've done so much, literally from the very beginning when we're house church and we're just together there in that little cluster. And I'm just completely impressed with your love for the Lord and the ministry and the miracles that you've seen really meant a lot to me. And then as we've grown along the way, you've never stopped growing. And that meant a lot to me. I love you both. And, we I, and, I, and I want you to know that from the bottom of my heart, uh, that that's how I feel, and thank you. And we appreciate you for being a part of this special night. Like I said to you earlier, celebrating 50 years of marriage is truly a blessing. One that is in Christ, and, and more importantly, the two of you have such a wonderful relationship, which is so rare in this world today. And hopefully yep. we can emulate that one day as well. And Mom, like I told you on the dance floor, thank you for giving me your good looks, <laughs> your hair, 
but you know, and your smarts. <laughs> we love and, you. And I love you and thank Hopefully you. Hopefully many more anniversaries to come together. All right. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. So Ken and Pat, I will tell you, you've taught us so much. I'm going to give the speech in just a little while, but in case you don't remember <laughs> it, because you've got that CRS issue. So in case you don't remember, what I'm going to say is that Ken and Pat, you have taught us so much. You've taught us that family is sometimes more than just family. It's people like Mike. It's Pat. You coming into our family, what family is, is when you want to really support the other people, you want to make them smile. You want their lives to be good and you do everything in your power to make them really enjoy life and that's one of the one of the many things you've taught us other thing you've taught us and I'm going to say this because this is really good is that marriage is not something that's held together by chains but it's held together by threads thousands and thousands and thousands of tiny little threads and everybody here tonight is one of those threads everybody here is one of those threads well we're multi-threads multi-colored threads we're like we're, big brains we're like big we're like you know, yeah like we're like big brains we're really the ones holding it together. yeah we're like tiny. everybody else we're doesn't like really matter cords. we're like it's cords. just the five of us yes it's really just us yeah that's yeah. Cord everybody else stress. thinks they're exactly right. exactly we love you i've got more to say go ahead okay <laughs> so, before we sing our song that we worked on, the so song we worked on so hard. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say that I know for me, through many years and difficult times, not only have individually you both been there to walk me through it, but as a couple, and I've been asked several times in my life, as you guys probably have also, of who you look toward as an example of marriage. And I'm very honored to say that I have a couple I get to look toward, and it's you guys. And um, you're always my answer. The rest of us kind of screwed it up, but you did really good. Well, not you all. You all did great. Josh and Karen. They're not. They're not my answer. I'm not the example. Karen. You are. Uh, nothing that I could say would be more than what they've already said and I can only echo that Ken and Pat you're such an inspiration all of us could only try to have the kind of success and the kind of marriage that you have is so strong so powerful and we just want to model ourselves after you as well you're so wonderful I couldn't have asked for a better uh, you know uh, like my dad says family to marry into but really uh, mother in love father in love and I just treasure what I have that I've been given uh, just by Mary and Josh. It's been amazing to see you and have you in our lives. So thank you. We love you, Gary. You know, I've, I've only ever done one other video like this, and I had a glass full of cherries from that night, and I don't have a How glass right now. I know. Um, but I give a speech earlier. We we love you. There we go. What are you drinking? Jack Daniels. All right, all right. All right. Video. Uh, we, it can be edited. Yes. Uh, I hope we love you. We get to say and express our love every day. You make all of our lives so much easier by having you as a resource and as an, a shoulder to cry on, as a phone call way of, I'm traveling, please help Carrie. Um, all of these things you have made Carrie, Mike, everyone here so welcome to the family. And as the, I know you don't like this, the matriarch and patriarch of the family that exists now, um, we wouldn't be who we are without you guys. That's right. Yeah. We love you so much. And we, love we wrote you. this song especially for you yeah. because we felt it was what encapsulated our love and our thoughts and our emotion for tonight. And Pam, you gonna start us off? Okay, yeah. a one and a two and a three. We, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Wait, was that the song? That's the only song I know. Okay, that works. That yeah. works. Right. We, love we love you. Thank you. We love Happy you. Happy anniversary. Love you. Oh, 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 oh. We just had a great time tonight. Uh, everybody has just, I think, had so much fun. We have a great band. They're, fun. They're having a, a lot of laughing going on and a lot of, there's been some tears. And we've had some really, really, really nice things said. And so we're just so blessed to be here.